Hi, this is Aaron Serrano, and I'm going to be teaching you how to export your Revit file, your Revit model, to a Lumion file or a Twin Motion file. That way, you'll be able to create professional renderings to impress yourself or clients or whoever you're working with. And here we go. To start off, you're going to have to install these plugins up here in the, on the ribbon, the Lumion plugin, plugin and the Twin Motion plugin. And to do that, you'll have to go to their websites. Here's Lumion. There you can search and find the plugin that suits you. In our case, it'll be for Revit, but there are other programs that it works with AutoCAD, SketchUp, ArchiCAD, Rhino, Vectorworks. And then also for Twin Motion, same thing. Go to their website, search for the plugin that best suits you, in our case, Revit again. And there we go. So download those from their websites and follow the instructions to install them onto your um, Revit. So, after you do that, this is the easy part. You go into your 3D view, and as you can see, it's kind of kind cartoonish. So, what Lumion and Twin Motion are great for is making your model look real. And all you have to do is have it in 3D. Click on there, click on the Lumion uh, ribbon, and export. And it's that simple. You can set all your different, well, in this case, it's only a surface smoothing, but I like to set it high. And you can either choose to export nodes or collect textures and click export. And then it's going to save as a Collada file a dot DAE so I'm gonna find the folder where I'm gonna put it and this is for storage container home but I'll just put it right here in this so storage container studio and save there and that's saving Check to see if it's saved in our folder. Oh, and there it is. It's saved as a storage container studio.dae. And that will be perfect to use for Lumion. And so all you have to do next is open up your Lumion and import this file and start creating lifelike renderings. And then the same for Twin Motion. With twin, Mo twin Motion, once installed onto your Revit, find it up in the ribbon. Same thing, we're just going to export. Choose our settings. I'm just going to accept these default settings. Click Export. And we're going to save it in the same location as a Twin Motion file. Save. There it goes, loading. Export successful, perfect. Okay, so now let's check to see. Here we go, we have our Twin Motion file ready to be opened in Twin Motion. That way we could take this dinky looking thing and turn it into something that is hard to tell is fake. And there it is. That is how you export your Revit model to a Lumion and Twinmotion file.